About him. It's just a dream. Has anyone heard from him? No. Grandma said that he hadn't called in a month. And he normally calls like every couple weeks. All right, we're about ready to go in here, guys. You're the only one that didn't RSVP. Okay, oh, you gonna come see this? All right, we gotta go see yeah. this for a while. <laughs> okay, all right. This is um, it's pretty impressive. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this guy go over there. It's gonna pick up that apple. I will not be using the remote control. Okay, you ready? I was really hoping he'd come to the picnic tomorrow, too. Oh, don't hold your breath. Grandma said what he's doing is research. She doesn't even know what day it is. And we're watching. We're watching. Damn it. Well, does it sing or dance or do anything? No. I'm gonna say it's not a moneymaker, then. Well, hang on. Let, let me, uh, one, one thing real quick here. I gotta go. Right. Love, Love you. you. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? okay? Be careful going home. 
Good luck, Jeff. Thanks. You know, if I put a receiver in it, I could probably make it sing. What's wrong? Uncle Vern is going to ask him to walk me down the aisle. I'd really like to meet him. He's out ghost hunting somewhere in the desert, and no one's even heard from him. Ghost hunting? Cool. Do you know where he is? Some place called Lost Lake. I have no idea where that is. Lost Lake. Lost Lake. He's lost in a place called Lost Lake. There it is. It's only three and a half hours away. You know, sweetie. We can drive up there and see if we can find him if you want. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, what about all the work for the wedding? Nah, we have a month. Come on. It'll be fun. We'll leave early and we'll make it back in time for the picnic. Go ahead and look up in the sky, now you're floating. Do you want another piece of pie? How exciting. Should have left a little bit earlier. You kept me up too late. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Do you want to run with me through the garden? Oh, you have a slip and slide. Well, I beg your pardon. Uncle Vern and I, we used to stay up late and watch reruns of Fantasy Island. What's that? You know, the plane, the plane. What? What play? Don't tell me I haven't seen Fantasy Island. Must have been before my time. Before my time, too. I'm only a month old. You all are a cute couple. Thank you very much. Y'all headed to Randsburg? We're actually going to Lost Lake. Wouldn't stop there long if I was you. Why's that? Just nothing there. No facilities. And that place is haunted. That's old lady legend. That'll be 785. I never knew this. You believe in ghosts. Not a hundred percent. But I've felt spooky things in life before. Really? Like what? Like... a presence. My friend felt it too, when she stayed the night once. When you were a kid? Yep. And I'm sure it was just our imaginations, but... It was real to me. And ever since, I've been afraid of ghosts. I never knew that. You don't believe in them, even a little? No, no. The fact that other people do, that fascinates me. This is getting good. This is getting real good.
Hello? There are no people anywhere. Maybe it's just this area. Anybody home? Looks like someone was living here pretty recently. Oh, family photos. Where are you going? Oh, honey, do not open that. Maybe they all left because of the ghost. Or because of the recession. Oh my god. Anybody there? Nobody's here. Great. This looks like, um, if the Brady Bunch ran a crack house. Look at this old school computer. this. Great view. I feel like we're at, a, we're at an archaeological dig. Mm -hmm. You're not going to think it's so cool when we see a ghost. Did you know? That there are only like three easily explainable occurrences that cause people to think they've seen a ghost. Just the first being like a slamming door. Second being a chilling breeze. Third being seeing something out of the corner of your eye. That's it. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Jeff.
there. She was right there. I believe you. Can we get out of here, please? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go. 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 If you want to. I know. We just got here. Let's let's drive around the town and see if we can find Uncle Vern. Let's stay in the car. Okay. okay. Uncle Vern? What is that? Looks like blood stains. Okay, I want to go right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's old. We're okay. Bullet holes. Now I want to go right now. Oh, uh, hang on, hang on. Somebody's been marking these. Could be recent. Looks kind of like a study of the front. Hey, ah! Holy sh! Vern! Trisha? Oh, God, Jesus Christ, Vern, you scared the s out of us. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear you come in. Uh, you wait right there. I'll, I'll be right out. Oh. Oh, so good to see you. <laughs> God, it's good to see you too. What are you doing here? This place is crazy. Oh, I know. <laughs> Isn't it fun? Well, I don't know about all that, but... <laughs> Uncle Vern, hmm? this is my fiancé, Jeff. Well, I'm really glad Hi. to meet you. It's a pleasure <laughs> to meet you. Now, let's go sit down. My, my knee is just killing me. Oh, okay. Uh, this way. What's wrong with your leg? Oh, it's just... Age, my dear, that's all. Nothing. Oh, Uncle Vern, you are not old. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe you're here. <laughs> you're like an angel sent straight from heaven. It's simply wonderful. No, oh, thanks. But what are you doing in this terrible place? Well, I'm working, my dear. <laughs> oh, this is the spot of my first great discovery in Lost Lake. Oh, it's the site of a legendary mass murder. Hell of a story. Very gruesome, actually. Is about 20 years ago, some man came in here and he just started. Story for another time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I guess it is somewhat macabre in here. Uh, let's go somewhere more pleasant. Have you had lunch? No. Nope.
So welcome to uh, Casa de Bird. <laughs> Great digs, Fern. Right? I know. I feel so comfortable here. Mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's, oh, come. Come sit. Yeah, yeah make yourselves at home <laughs> while I wrestle us up some lunch. <laughs> Great. So what's the story with this town? Huh? Oh, you mean why it's deserted? Yeah. Well, to tell you the truth, I don't really know. Uh, my guess is it has to do with uh, poor economy and maybe some drug influence. I... So you came to write about the murders that happened here? Oh, that I did. <laughs> and believe me, I am finding some incredibly juicy stuff. All sorts of uh, photos and stuff that I can write about. It's just... It looks like a good find. <laughs> I'm very excited. It is a great find. But that is not the best of it. I just learned from a credible source that a ghost is going to come visit on this very day. Really? Then it is haunted. Yes! That's why I'm so excited to see you here. Who's your credible source? My dear boy, <laughs> I have befriended the last sole inhabitant of this town. It's amazing. Uh, she, she, she's a mute, but she has given me all the story about the ghost. Does it happen to be an old woman with long, scraggly white hair? Yes. Well, that's Jonquil. Did you see her? Oh, no, she's perfectly harmless. She, she claims to have a connection with the spirit, so... If she's mute, how did she give you the story? Well, she wrote it all down. She can't spell for shit, but she wrote it all down for me. This is great. This is, this is really great. Isn't it exciting? So have you seen a ghost? No. I have not. But I have felt a presence. And jean assures me that the ghost is going to come down from the hills today and walk through town. Today? That's right. See, jean says that when she feels the spirit, she's going to do a kind of ritual to protect herself from it. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Y'all are here on a very special day. So, uh, <clears throat> tell me something, kids. Uh, do you all have, uh, cameras on your cellular phones? Yeah, we have cell phones, but we don't get reception over here. Hmm, right. But but they do have video capabilities? Yeah, they can record. Yeah, maybe this would be a good day. <laughs> it's like you were... You're just a gift sent from heaven. Well, you never RSVP'd for the wedding. I'm really very sorry for that. But in a little way, I'm also not. Because now you're here, and I have a kind of humongous favor to ask both of you, really. What's that? All right, well, I've, I've been a ghost hunter for a while now, and I've, I've still not managed to capture a spirit on video. And today is going to be the perfect opportunity, once in a lifetime. So I guess what I'm asking is if you would help me record her. You mean the spirit? Yeah. See, she could be anywhere in town right now, and there's only one of me. So... I really need a, uh, a breakthrough. Do you understand? Sure. Okay. I'll tell you what, you kids, uh, you finish eating and I I'm going to get started on dessert. Oh. 
Actually, Vern, we don't need dessert. We should, we gotta hit the road. It's a long drive. We'll do it. What? Look, these things scare me because I believe in them, but Uncle Vern, for you, I can be strong, okay? We'll do it. Only for a couple hours, all right? Trisha, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> believe me, I know for a fact that ghosts, uh, they can't hurt you. They can only spook you a little. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm so pleased. <laughs> you guys, this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm in. Look, it's only for a couple hours, though, okay? I don't want to be here after dark. All right, all right. Yeah, I understand. Well, right. that means we really need to get going. All right, well, uh, what do we do? Well, we should probably start with some reconnaissance. <laughs> she told you about her name's Guinevere and Jean Cole says that she heard about her when she was a young woman in the 1940s then she John what she just started rocking in her chair <laughs> stop <laughs> so the story goes that Guinevere was attacked they beat her so badly that all of her bones were broken, but Guinevere didn't die. So then her assailants took her up into the mines above town. There they buried her alive. Oh my God. But the good news is, to this day, every holiday, her spirit comes down and haunts the living. At first, I kind of despaired that I wasn't here for Christmas or Easter, one of the bigger holidays, but jean will assures me that the 4th of July is her favorite. Oh, goody. Yeah. All right, well, nothing's happening here. Let's go on to Plan B. Plan B? Welcome to my field office. Look at these old photos. It's amazing. They all look so happy. Is this Lost Lake? Well, yeah. Oh, this used to be a thriving town before the lake went dry. It's, uh, it was an oasis in the desert. Ah, but it still has its charms. Follow me. Welcome to my personal study. <laughs> this is where I do my best thinking. Now, I'm afraid I don't have anything cold to offer you, but I can whip you up a nice warm cocktail. I'm good, thank you. Oh, I know you're good. But you have to have at least one. It's, it's, it's part of plan B. Okay, I'll have a vodka. Uh, same for me, please. Done, and done. See now, plan B involves an invitation to the spirit. We make a toast in her honor and invite her to join us. How polite. Life's the right word. I've done this before, and you'll be surprised. After a few stiff drinks, you really start to feel a presence. All right, so now, we will each make a toast to 
dear Guinevere, in the hopes that she'll come for a visit. And so, dear lady, in all sincerity, we do hope to see you soon. Cheers. scare me. I'm so sorry for all the terrible things that have happened to you. And if you decide to come visit, please don't take any anger out on us. Right. Cheers. <laughs> to the dead, who may or may not still be among us, I do not believe you are with us, but... It would be very cool to find out that you are. Cheers. All right, now, listen up. There's no power anywhere, so take these. So I only have two of these, but I assume Y'all will stick together. Oh, yes. All right. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? <laughs> it works. All right, so now I'll go take another peek at Jonquil, and then I'll patrol around the camp, because that's very close to the mine. Where do you want us to go? Oh, well, why don't you just stay around here and, and film this general area? Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Good man. Oh, and if any of us sees anything, radio the other, so that way we can work the area together. Sounds Good. Good. Let's go have fun. <laughs> Filming when we see something, or? I think we should film suggested things. That way Vern has stuff he could cut together into a scary video. That's cheating. No, it's not. There's nothing suggestive in here. The whole thing is creepy. here in Lost Lake, California, seeking the supernatural. Right now, we are hunting a ghost. Here in lovely Lost Lake, California, we have a great example of just how beautiful life can be. Mmm, cream corn. Oh, stuffed animals. The alleged ghost is of a woman who died before we were born. They say she still haunts the town to this very day. Buddy Wabby, say we don't want to film any ghosts, do we? No, no, so we, and neither do I, and I'm a little bell. 
Hey, Jeff. Jeff? You better not scare me or I'll be pissed off. Interesting. There's no power in the entire town and yet there seems to be water still in the pipes. Okay, that was scary, good. Was it okay? I, it was, uh, I don't know, you felt it. It was more of a, of a, a feeling. I got her a video, though. Uh, you did? Yeah. No, let me see. Uh, well, we'll never see it out here. Come on. Come on. Wait for me. Hold on. All right, man. All right. Here we go. Okay, that was it. That was it right there. That was it. Did you see it? After he saw it, I ran in there, and then the room started shaking and made this terrible pounding noise. Then, then we left. Huh. I just really wish you would have radioed me about that, but uh, well, no matter, no matter. We'll uh, we'll go back in there together, and uh, then we're gonna, I just know, catch some amazing images. Vern, we're not going back in there. What do you mean? We're going home. That was a very real thing, and I. I don't want to be a part of it. You must have been getting quite a fright, my boy. <laughs> but I told you, ghosts can't hurt people. Here you go. Well, what about you, my dear? You'll stay and help, won't you? I'm sorry. I can't. the edge of a brink. Burn. I... Oh, that's, that's highly doubtful. 
Why? Because I hate you. Fern, that's so mean. I hate you both. Why would you say that? I hate leaving this way. We used to be so close. I know. But it's, it's not your fault, okay? Something seriously wrong with him. When we get back, we have to figure out a way to help. Okay. Hey, what's so funny? <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> all that fussing and all that crying? And I just remembered. You're not gonna leave. No, Vern, we are. I'm sorry. Oh, no, honey. I'm the one that's sorry. That's okay. Everyone gets emotional once in a while. We just hope we see you for the wedding. Oh, oh no. You'll see me a lot sooner than that. Because you see, you're not able to leave. And why is that? Because your car won't start. What's wrong? I don't know. It won't won't even turn over. Vern, why won't our car start? Because I took out the plugs. What? I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yankee Doodle do or die. Vern? A real life nephew of my uncle's hand. Born on the Will it start? 4th of July. No. Spark plugs are missing. It's not nice to kiss and run, Trisha. This isn't funny. Where did you put our spark plugs? Well, you have to give them back. Why? You won't leave her. Listen to me. We're coming over there, and you're going to give us those goddamn spark plugs. Do you hear me? He's crazy. He's pissing me off. He's pissing me off. Vern? Vern? Where are you? Come on, Vern.
hurt me. Ghosts don't hurt people. What the hell does that mean? People hurt people. I don't care what kind of craziness you've got going on in your head, but you cannot hold us here against our will. Patricia. No, you know I am not amused. You should be ashamed of the way you're treating us after we agreed to come up here and help you with your little ghost hunting scheme. <laughs> Trust me.
We're okay now, okay? We're safe. I locked him in the freezer. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. Oh, You're amazing. Hey. All right. We gotta get you out of here, okay? Come on. Come on. my finger. Yeah. They can still sew it on, right? Fern took it. He put it in his pocket. Okay. No. No! So the no. mother... <laughs> okay, we need to get the spark plugs, all right? Get cell reception, call the cops, okay? No. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Water, you've lost a lot of blood. Uh, okay. 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 You're gonna be okay. All right. Okay. okay. was a witch. They killed her because they thought she was evil. It says that? Yes. And John Quill is her sister. She wasn't going to do some protective ritual. I said she was going to help Guinevere. For these special days, I do all in my power to ensure her spirit will not lie alone. Jesus Christ! means Vern was helping them from the beginning. She's dangerous. <sighs> okay, where would he have put them? Where would he have put them? Come on, come on, think, 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 think. Okay, he walked here from the store, so he wouldn't have left them in his car. He would have come in here, and he would have... What? His car. He leaves his keys in his car. <laughs>
right, fiance. It's time to cross it up!
getting things done. Trying to keep up with developments. Is used for training little dogs. Just like that. That's what we're gonna have to start doing right about now. It's okay, baby. It's okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
through there. It won't take but a minute. I'm sorry, what? I can't. Oh. I'm sorry. Here, let me go. Here we go. So what was that? Out of here, okay? I need to pick you up. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come on.
are. Okay? You're safe. Who are you seeing? He's dead. I killed him. Thank you. to the hospital, okay? Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Where are you going? I found the spark plugs. Oh, don't do that. Go, I have to go. I'm here. I'll leave you with this, okay? It's taking so long.
Go ahead and look up in the sky, now you're floating. Do you want another piece of pie? How exciting! What a day I said, how we enjoyed ourselves.